Jenny Goblin Cannot Have a Monster for a Pet. Words by David Goodner. Pictures by Louis Thomas. Read by Grandpa Tom. Jenny Goblin loves animals. Goats are some of her favorites. But goats are kind of stinky, and it's a lot of work to take care of them. Maybe if we help Jenny Goblin find a pet, she'll stop trying to herd goats through the house. But I want to be clear. Jenny Goblin should not need a giant net to find a pet. She should not need a bear trap. And she definitely should not need to drive an army tank. Jenny Goblin cannot have a monster for a pet. Let's take Jenny down to the beach. Maybe she'll find a tropical fish or a cute little hermit crab. Fish and hermit crabs make excellent pets. But wait, where is Jenny going? Jenny Goblin is not allowed to take a submarine to the deepest, darkest ocean depths. She is not allowed to find the great and terrible Kraken. She is not allowed to put a leash on the Kraken and take him home. The Kraken crushes ships in his mighty tentacles and has thousands of nasty suckers. Krakens are unfathomable monsters, and Jenny Goblin cannot have a monster for a pet. Jenny needs to find a pet that lives on land. Let's take Jenny out to the hills. Cute, fluffy bunnies live in the hills. Oh no, there goes Jenny again. Jenny Goblin should not go into the ancient misty mountains. She certainly should not crawl down into the cold, dark cave that she finds with a magic map. She absolutely should not try to wake up a dragon and make him her pet. Dragons eat cows in a single bite. They burn down villages with their fiery breath. Dragons are even crankier than krakens, and they need to sleep on a bed of gold coins, often for centuries at a time. Dragons are terrible monsters, and Jenny Goblin cannot have a monster for a pet. Jenny needs to find a smaller pet. Let's take Jenny to the forest. Pretty birds live in the forest, right? A little bird would be a nice pet, a nice safe pet. Jenny Goblin should not go hunting in the spooky, twisty part of the forest where all the trees are dead and the grass is scorched. She should not make a cage trap from ropes and sticks or bait it with cupcakes. She unequivocally should not catch a basilisk in her trap. Basilisks live on land and they're smaller than dragons, but they turn everything they look at into stone. If Jenny took her basilisk to school for show and tell, her whole class would turn into statues. Besides, basilisks croak like big, ugly frogs, and they won't use the litter box. Basilisks are petrifying monsters, and Jenny Goblin cannot have a monster for a pet. Jenny needs to find a pet that's not magical. In fact, I'm starting to wonder if Jenny should have a pet at all. Let's take Jenny to the Space Museum to take her mind off pets for a while. Oh, what now? Where is Jenny going? Jenny Goblin is not allowed to borrow a rocket ship from the Space Museum. She is completely not allowed to ride the rocket to outer space. And if she does go to outer space, she is not allowed to catch a space creature. She is especially not allowed to catch a space alien that spits acid. It would drool everywhere and ruin the floors. Space creatures are awful monsters, and Jenny Goblin cannot have a monster for a pet. Not a giant monster, or a fire-breathing monster, or a petrifying monster, or any kind of monster. We can't let any of those pets into the house, or the country, or the planet. Do you think we can find a pet that isn't a monster? What? You can? Okay, then. What do you have in mind? Look, Jenny Goblin has a baby goat. Goats don't crush things in their tentacles, or set them on fire, or petrify them, or try to eat them. Goats even eat all the weeds in the yard. A baby goat is not a monster at all. I think he'll be a great pet. Well done, Jenny Goblin. Good work, everyone. Now let's take Jenny and her baby goat home. It's almost time for her to get ready for bed. Wait a minute. 
Didn't I say something about goats in the house? The end.